Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Wired. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 1472, Design Browser History. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we have four functions. One is home page, visit, back and forward to move in the browsing history, right? So first, in the initialization function, we are going to initialize the browsing history with the given home page URL. And we are going to start with the current index as zero, right? So next, then in the visit method, right? We are going to add new URL to the current history, current browsing history at the current index. And I'm going to update the current index to the new URL, right? I will then update, I will add, I will increase the current by one, right? And this also discards forward history as specified in the problem statement. So what I mean by discarding the forward history, assume if I have created three URLs and if I want to visit, like if I want to try to move back, right? Here at the first, URL assume if this is an home page right then I will remove all this from my current history right I cannot go back to the the two created URLs right I cannot visit these URLs since I have deleted from my browsing history right then we have back function back method right where we move back in the browsing history we do this by subtracting steps with the current index and making sure that it doesn't go below zero so for example here i have created three urls right this will be my the zeroth index will be my home page and these are my newly created urls assume if i need to move back two steps backwards my current assume my current index is at index 2 right if I minus current index with the number of steps that is 2 then I'm going to get 0 so I will move my current pointer to the 0th index 2 minus 2 is 0 right so I will move to the 0th index assume if I try to move three steps backwards I'm going to get minus 1 there is no such index here, right? So by default, maximum, I'm going to move backwards to the home page, right? That's what the max zero, when, whenever we get a negative value, we are going to just go to the home page, right? Then we have forward method, where we will move forward to the number of URLs in the browsing history, we do this by adding steps to the current index, right? And making sure we doesn't go beyond the length of the browsing history. That's what we are going to take length of the browsing history. It's like limiting ourselves. We are creating an upper bound. I cannot go more than my browsing history. The number of URLs I have created. That's what we, we are creating an upper bound. We will take minimum of this. Right? So what it means? Assume I have created three URLs and if I try to go to the fourth URL, I cannot go to the fourth URL, right? Since I have not created yet. So I will limit maximum. I will go to my third URL and I will return my third URL since that is the maximum URLs created, right? If I try to move to the second index, I have already created three URLs. So I will return second index, second URL, since it is within my limit three, right? That's how the logic is. Now we will see the code. So before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially I'm going to initialize my browsing history, right? With the home page. And I will set my current index as 0 at the start. 
then in the visit method i will create new urls i will add new urls by updating my browsing history right i will create the new url here by adding a new index to it so i will use url right then i will update my current index i will point it to the currently newly created url right then in the back method i will update my current index by taking the maximum between zero and number of steps we are trying to move back by subtracting current index and step right then i will return the current url i am trying to move back if i'm going beyond the limit i will return the home page here right then to move forward i will update my current index by taking the minimum between length of my browsing history right this is my limit then i will try to move forward using the current by adding steps to my current index right then finally i will return the browsing url i'm trying to visit in forward right I think it's fine let's run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient so the time complexity is order of one and space is order of n since the number of years you are creating so it will be order of n right thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys